You get a target cuff and you get a target cuff. Everyone gets a target cuff. In this day and age, it seems like everyone has their own version of target cuff. More like everyone's trying to have a rather fixed or rigid interpretation on the topic of what sounds the most preferable or realistic in general. And I think it's an interesting phenomenon. Let's talk about it. Do you know you can have your own version of target curve too? Just find the frequency curve of your earphones and EQ it to whatever you deem suitable and export it out. It's fun to do so but not accurate by any means because it's how like to EQ trouble and there's always a limitation on driver capability. With that being said, I don't see myself having a target curve anytime soon because A, I'm enjoying different kinds of tuning without too much of a definitive preference, and B, our ears do have the ability to EQ and get used to multiple kinds of sound selection. And most importantly, C, which is my weird take on this topic. I really, really think that with different levels of technicality and driver setup, and different sorts of tuning should be considered and delicately executed with the variance instead of following an absolute value. For example, Harman Target is the easiest one to be discovered in most commercial or entry-level earphones because this kind of tuning can easily give us an impression of clarity. On the contrary, let's say the tuning of SA6 Mark II. Do you think this kind of tuning can work on a single DD set with low technical performance? I don't think so. So yeah, that's my weird need to take on target curves. What do you think of it? Do you have a target curve that you prefer? Leave a comment down below and let your peers know more about it. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you in next video. Bye.